Suddenly we go soft and then it is game over. There is one part of us that values this sense of connection, the bond, the passion and chemistry who wants to be present with our partner. And then there is this other part that knows we're about to lose the erection. That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video today. Why do we suddenly go soft and how to get this sorted? If you find this video helpful, in the bottom right hand corner, you will see a button that says subscribe. Click on that button so you can get the latest new tools and videos as I share them. I'll also be sharing with you the free ED quiz in the comments. So we're in the moment, we feel that chemistry is building, we feel present with our partner, and there is also then this part of us that is on a constant lookout, like a lookout guard, right? Is it happening, is it happening, am I going soft, am I hard enough, right? Spectating. It's literally like imagining somebody with binoculars on this lookout tower looking for any signs of, is it going to happen again? This happened before, is it going to happen again? It's like we're hyper-focused on it. And then we do the checks. We try and slow things down or perhaps we discreetly put our hand down there to check and feel, I can't, I can't think about it. I've just got to focus, I've just got to stay in the zone. I've got to be present. We try and block and fight, battle against these thoughts it doesn't really work they continue to escalate or it becomes a thought of i've just got to get this over and done with and we desperately want to avoid a feeling of awkwardness a feeling of embarrassment we want to avoid it happening again and then it happens we lose the erection and then it feels like there's no going back from there in that moment it feels like can't do anything now and this feels awkward and it feels embarrassing so what's going on why does this happen why do we suddenly go soft well our body has gone into a stress state we have a calm state and a stress state that we operate in our body has to be in a calm state for us to be aroused and turned on that means to get and maintain an erection we have to be in a calm state but as these as this spectator is getting more and more hyper vigilant on these what if is it going to happen again let me just check let me make sure we can see we're not in a calm state right we were actually very on edge and that continues to happen the intensity increases imagine a dial like dialing up the intensity because it actually feels like that and then there comes a point where our body is no longer in a calm state it's gone into a high stress state and when this happens, we lose the erection. We can't maintain an erection in a stress state. Why? Because our blood is redirected around our body to protect our most critical organs, like our brain. You know the phrase fight or flight? Our body's gone into that state. And being turned on in that moment is not a priority. So this is why we lose the erection, but of course, that's one thing, understanding what's going on in our body. So it's logical, by the way, what's happening from a biological point of view is normal but of course in our mind we think that's the last thing we want to happen which brings us now to how do we get this sorted because we don't need to keep going around in loops and loops and experiencing this or pretending to ourselves that things are getting better over time when really they're not when we're not having the kind of sexual experiences that we want to for three months. If, if this is going on for any longer than three months or more, it means that we haven't got the right set of tools to get it sorted. So let's talk about the right set of tools. I believe there are six areas that lead to either performance anxiety or erection challenges, and it's our job to find out which one or combination of those six is it for you personally. That insight then helps us get to the bottom of what's going on so we can figure out how do we get the right tools and strategies to get this sorted. If you can resonate with what we've gone through so far, then in the comments below, you will see the link to the ED quiz, the ED quiz. This is a free quiz. It's 10 yes or no questions that you answer that will show you which one or combination of these six is going on for you so that you can get to the bottom of this, get it sorted ultimately so that we can avoid suddenly going soft, avoid embarrassment in the bedroom and start feeling normal again.